Innovation's New Clothes, a real-life fairy tale. Once upon a time, not so very long ago, in a land not so very far away, life was very different. Most people lived in small villages, working either in agriculture or as skilled craftsmen. Children usually learned a craft from their parents or became apprentices to tradesmen. Then a burst of mechanical innovation caused a radical change in people's day-to-day -day lives. New devices such as pocket watches could be made available to typical people. The majority of people thought that a pocket watch must indeed be possessed by demons in order to show the correct time and to fit into someone's pocket. Suddenly, life was very different. Work was carried out outside of the home, a situation that separated family members. Factory workers were required to follow strict schedules and to arrive at work at a specified time. Factories required workers to adhere to very strict rules. Such massive changes and advances resulted in many positive things, but the Industrial Revolution was not without its problems. Children that had previously worked at home with their families we're now working in factories under abusive conditions or roaming the cities, causing a rise in crime. This led to cries for reform. Soon, public education was touted as the solution to this emerging problem. Kids needed to be off the street. Factory owners needed a workforce with a basic set of skills and ability to follow the rules. In the end, the factory owners and educational reformers prevailed. Factory-like schools were built, compulsory education laws were passed, and the system worked. Year after year, another generation of children passed through schools that all looked just alike. They all learned in classrooms that looked just alike, from teachers using methods that were all just alike. Until soon, nobody could remember a time when things weren't done this way. And so, society lived happily ever after, except for the kids. They were bored, disengaged, and not interested in learning the same things the same way. But there was nothing they could do. Until one day, an inventor and, a, and just some plain old a technological genius It was the dawn of a new era. Students were no longer content just to sit and get. They wanted to do and to create. Once again, life was suddenly very different. And once again, education was being called upon as a solution and a way to bring about change. The old system wasn't working, and the current one was considered to be in crisis. But this time, it was the students themselves. Teachers are being called on to use new skills and to learn how to teach in new... No one knows where this journey will lead, but we do know we have received... To explore strange new worlds, to seek out new life and new civilization,